Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Okay, we're back with Game of Thrones and me, Shadow Moses. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me. It's been a little while since we've uh, played this. Obviously, I had trouble with Xbox One. Uh, files corrupted. Had to be sent back for repair. Blah, blah, blah. So now, thankfully, we're back. And I can get back to this awesome game. Ethan made this for me. I just got to try and remember where we left off. I think we'd um, had a bit of a run-in with a lord. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. And I think it belongs to Lady Elena. And I think the Lord was being a bit of a douche, trying to take advantage of the fact that we were a little kid, but even was our corn stuck to his guns. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Essos. Okay. Hmm, all right. Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Hmm. Okay. Right, so I know I've got a lot of other games going on on my channel uh, alongside this one, and uh, many others. So uh, forgive Wonders me. Wonders made by man, <laughs> by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. So forgive me, guys. Um, my I hope channel. To see them all someday. I have you quite finished. So forgive me. My channel is going to be uh, mixed up with a lot of games. Uh, I'm not going to spam um, games all at once. So they're going to be pretty much mixed up and split up with other games. Which is good, I think. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Keeps the channel a little bit interesting, in my opinion. Alright, let's have a look at what we got. Letter from Mother. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally. Especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. I wonder if that's a letter taken by carrier pigeon. Or raven or whatever it was. Uh, yeah, we'll get to the door in a minute. I'm too busy looking around the room. Uh, okay, we'll get to the... Yeah. Oh, right. Hold your horses. It's a cool minute, you know, if you're patient. Right, let's have a little look. Mm. Who you be? Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Let's let him no, in. No, it's fine. Come in. There's no reason for us to be rude. Well, don't be nosy, fella. Just get on with what you gotta do. I'm not sure what it is you're doing. Stop looking at the letter. I'm begging your pardon, milady, but mm. you all right? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. Uh, it's private. I'd rather not say. Of course, my lady. I didn't mean to pry. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. So we kept our problem a secret. I'm not sure who we are or aren't meant to be you talking for Lady to. Marjorie? And you have a lot of questions to ask, little boy. I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. Uh Perhaps you should come back later. Of course, my lady. Yeah, stop asking so many questions. I'm sure I screwed that up. Oh, so you don't knock, lady I guess. Marjorie. You're early. Oh, I guess you don't I have to lock. There would be time for lock, knock. Talk. Sorry. Come. There's something we must discuss. 
Good afternoon. From the day you arrived in High Garden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden, a dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining, Ooh. and your poor family as well. You're very kind, my lady. Let's just well, let's not ask her straight away. You must not despair. We will get through this together. Only because there's a third person there, look. You must understand mm. there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. Okay, we'll to play it cool. We'll play it Lord, cool. Whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. What? She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. Oh, let's take her out. Let's just kill her. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort, for what I don't know. But... <sighs> She's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. Okay. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Oh, see? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, know what's what going on. To hear. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can do that. We can also tell her she's a bitch. Let's see if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Yes. Move along now. Hmm. So I'm guessing this might be as a result of um, the killing that happened r way back at the farm. I mean, I could be completely wrong. You'll be fine. Yes. I know you will. Yep, we're all cool. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Okay. I can do that. Good luck. Christ, why is everybody looking at me like I'm about to die? Here we go. Okay. This doesn't look daunting. I guess I'm gonna have to walk in, am I? You can do this. Yes, I can. I'm oh, cool. Where's the door? How do I get out? How do I get out? How do I get out? Let me out. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. There's a lot of uh, whispering. F Consider as hardly anybody here. Oh dear, she does look a bit peeved ah, off. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Hello. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Thank you, sir. Lord Tyrion. Tyrion. Your Grace. Oh. With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. <sighs> Stand tall, bow your head. I am honoured, Your Grace. Hmm. Yet not honoured enough to kneel, I see. Oh, crap! House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Oh, dear. I'm going to screw this up. Is your family loyal to the king? Yes, it is! is Ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here. Oh, dear. dear. She is. House Forrester's loyalty to the crown never wavers, your grace. I see. Is and that yet, right? For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. Oh, I'm going to mess this up. Uh... They were the Wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the King. Clever girl. Perhaps too clever <laughs> for her own good. I don't even know what I'm saying. The girl did say that oh, sugar. she was unwavering. She has a talent for equivocation, yet I question what she really thinks. Oh, God. Am I going to have to... Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Uh, oh, dear! Roose Bolton also served the Starks, your grace. Oh, Christ, am I doing... And proved his loyalty to the crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. I don't know if I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> 
old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But they're all very pretty ladies, though. Now that though. the war is over, <coughs> we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. Sorry, I'm wavering off the, uh... Ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his army. Off the game a little bit. <coughs> I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Uh um, To our mutual benefit, Your Grace. And at the pleasure of your king. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Oh Castle. god, this is where I wish I'd watched the programs. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Oh dear. There are limits, Your Grace. Perhaps, but not if your house faces potential ruin. I'm trying to what stay right down the middle. You, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. I'm trying to remain it raises an interesting question, impartial. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? Oh crap, you ain't asking me, eh? I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Yeah, I have no idea what you're trying to do. It can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all right. I'm going to be a bitch in a minute if you keep questioning me. Themselves, pretending to be something they're not. If you push me, I'm going to be a bitch. Ask me something. Just ask me something. You are a girl from the north. Mm, go on, here we go. To Lady Marjorie, one can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? Oh dear. I'm sure she would... Let the would... girl answer the question. Go on. Ah! Uh... Loyalties would never conflict, Your Grace. That's a coward's answer. I will not have my time wasted by a northern girl who thinks she can play games. All right, you're about to get who it. you choose? I am sworn to Lady Marjorie, my king, of course. Okay, let's go with the immediate. This is going to be wrong. I must choose Marjorie, Your Grace. Clearly, your handmaiden does not have her priorities straight. Was that wrong? She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. I like him. I'm not quite sure what to make of her. Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl. But not very encouraging either. That's it. Remain stern. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. I did try to remain impartial. You push me. But I do like you, little man. Oh, excuse me, hitting the microphone. And I, I don't mean little as in like little man, as in it's just like a term of endearment. Sorry. I'm going to get myself in trouble. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then, he didn't dress Drew's Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. He was. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. See, I don't really want to cause any conflict. You your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. No doubt she was pleased, but Cersei. She oh, she was pleased. Forget what you said. Yeah, whatever. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. But it um, certainly wasn't what Cersei was expecting. I wasn't trying to please her. I think that was clear to everyone. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. All right, so I've got to be careful. I mine in thwarting them. I've got to be careful. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats, 
Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? See, I don't want to show my hand. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Oh, see, but how can I know I can trust him? Willing to risk that? I don't know if I can trust him. It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I don't know. I might be a stupid one as well. I'll consider it. Yeah. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Not a problem. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. Can Things he be trusted? I know nothing about this guy. To the All right, guys, in the comments below, please tell me if he can he be trusted? Who can be trusted? Who can't be trusted? I have no idea.